Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic. And Rib the Party Frog. Back again with another response video. This time, we're on uh, Ribby's second favorite feminist website called Her Way. <laughs> where, where is she going, Ribby? Dude, she's on her way. He's taking her on a scenic aquatic trip to the wall. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can get to the wall. Mm -hmm. You could ride the CC. You could ride the Chad train. Oh. You could uh, take a maybe a pilot Chad could fly you there. But no, she's going with um, a boating Chad here. She's hel he's helping her into the boat and uh, she's hopping on Chad, streaming all the way down Zinc River towards the wall. That's what I'm thinking going on here. Uh, well, yeah, let's address this picture before we address the title here. Um, who built this boat? It looks like someone took like, you know, one of those old metal bins, your dogs kind of laying in the summer, kind of stretched it out and then threw some of the planks on that damn dock in it. It looks like this yeah. dude like tried to make some kind of romantic date with 30 bucks, but then like spent 30 <laughs> bucks on Kush, smoked it up and said, shit, I got to make some kind of boat or whatever. Looks like the dude grabbed his dad's old kayak, uh, kayak paddle. Look at this. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, look, he spent a lot of time making those, putting those flowers together. But let's be honest, this is a photo shoot. This doesn't yeah. happen in real life. Do you know why, Ruby? Because the average feminist. Because look at this dude's, well, look at this dude's ankles. Look at this dude's ankles, right? Yeah. See ankles? Okay. From the ankle, go all the way up to the knee. I don't see any calf. If you have no calf, you're probably not lifting. And a girl that's this kind of somewhat attractive, at least when she's this young, she's going to go for a dude that probably lived or giga chat, what have you. So this kind of romantic kind of, like, if, if a dude wants to go out and do this romantic stuff, it's going to work if you're also like, you know, you got basically all the red pill qualities. So, you know, acting like a giga simp, taking girls on boating trips, won't get you puniti. It especially won't get you young puniti, good puniti when you're young, right? Because all these dudes went out of high school, they go, I want to fall in love, I want a wife, I want all this stuff. Okay, they, they keep on simping and simping, and they basically learn, if I keep it up like this, they, I'm going to get a wife at 30 who's 30. Yeah. These dudes, Dude, some of them are okay with that. But mm -hmm. dudes with functioning testes, they see guys like Chronic Ribby smashing and dashing 18, 19, 20-year-old thoughts, and they want to do the same. Or at least they want, if they're going to commit to one, they want her to be young and give her a little bit of something. something. Ribby, what do you got to say? I was going to say, dude, I think it's Captain Cuck over here. Ah, he's Captain hopping Cuck. on the SS Simp, and he's fishing for that Puniti. He's taking a little trip down. It's just so funny, dude. This picture just cracks me up. And the best part is, I was like, dude, you know to f because your average feminist would probably sink a ship like this. You know, you'd be well, capsizing, whoa, yeah. 300 pounder, <laughs> flops over, the boat just breaks in two. Average feminist oh, falls God. into this lake, and the water gets thrown out into the shores and all the fish start flopping around it's too much yeah, mass in the, in the water <laughs> now let's read the title of this article i traded dating apps for old school dating any day that's what I we're responding to um mm -hmm. so we basically have the uh, not the, it's, it's going to be an age-old conundrum of a female who utilized the dating apps and utilized her younger fertile years to receive excess attention money and schlong from chad tyrone malik right Yep. But once mm -hmm. once that attention dries up or once she realizes that, you know, she kind of wanted one man to stay loyal, they start bemoaning dating apps and they want to go back to this old school dating. Okay. Old school yep. dating still around. Chronic, Chronic will take a bitch out. Chronic will do something for a bitch. Um, one thing only, though. It's just, well, it's just, you know, before, there's a couple things. But the first question, the first question, I have to ask about the integrity of your hymen. Because if it is mm -hmm. not there, if it is gone, and they say they go, they go, <gasps> chivalry's dead. Nah, bitch. But your hymen is. <laughs> That's the oh truth. yeah. Also, you're the one that you're the one that killed it. Do you picture picture this? The Knights of the Round Table, the the, the chivalrous lads, the original white knights, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, it's all honor and for a lady's hand, and you simp for a lady, and blah, 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 and you would have to earn the puniti of this chick mm -hmm. that you would do all these tasks for, and then you would get that nice, you know, flower. But nowadays, if it's like you're well, here's, in a brothel well, here's the big difference. Houses, well, here's the do big you think difference. these guys would bother for that? Hell well, no. Well, here's the big difference, dude. Um, I, kinda, I can kind of support the sympathy a little bit in the Knights of the Round Table. Well, yeah. not, I wouldn't be simping. I'd be out there being a warlord, but they were who are they simping for? Knights back then were simping for beautiful, young, under thirty, under twenty most of the times too. Exactly. Um, That's what women I'm who were rich and had access to a lot of land and military power. Mm -hmm. So like you'd fall in love with a beautiful, wealthy woman who also had an army. Oh, it's so convenient. And I'll do so oh, many yeah. things for her. 
Absolutely. It was beneficial for the men back then. Yeah, they had something to earn rather mm-hmm. than today. Yep. Well, what, what's there to earn today? Syphilis. Let's get to this article. <laughs> I earn I earn my chlamydia. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> she says, Gross. Do any of you sometimes feel misplaced in time and space? Ribby, are you misplaced in time and space? You feel like you're a frog floating out on the, you know, in the <laughs> neutrosphere? Dude, I think Ribby is from a different time. I think I time warped at some point. I partied so hard mm-hmm. back in a couple centuries ago. And now I woke up in a nightmare called the thought apocalypse in New York city. I'm looking around. I'm like, Oh my God, this is what I happened. can't believe this is the time we're living in boys. Lord, Lord chronic <laughs> was meditating over a pot of boiling Kush oil. And he was offered an option from Darth Kush himself. He said, take this red pill, go and save some Buddhas, save them from being married to used up Puniti. Save my Buddhas. Say, my brothers, from all the smurfed out thoughts, throwing zinc and chlamydia used up through the air like a 2000 New Year's in New York City. Like a phone party. Exactly. It's a <laughs> phone party with bacteria in your eyes. Ugh. It's not good. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're here. We're here to basically tell these chicks old school dating is for old school chicks. It, it, here's the thing. If she, she doesn't realize 18-year-old white woman who are beautiful and go to the gym, regularly sell their virginity on the international market for excess of a million dollars. That same story shows up every like two years. And I'm sure there's a Mm -hmm. whole lot more instances of that happening where the girls don't want to go public so they can still tell whoever they're, you know, whatever, right? Happens Mm -hmm. all the time. Now imagine this. Yep. How hard is it for an 18 year old white girl who's a virgin to find a man who will marry her and hold off to smashing that puny tea until marriage? It is the easiest thing in the world. I swear, it'd be the easiest thing in the world. But Mm -hmm. here's the thing. Once you become a harlot, once you live life like a man, you can't go back to being a woman. You can't go back to being a virgin bride. You'll never be that. Woman trip. You'll never be that. You will always be a Western woman who has a minimum of a 50, well, actually uh, 50% chance of divorce, but it's an 80% chance that you're going to initiate it. So... That's the reality. Statistics will tell me everything I need to know about a population. And all the statistics of Western women tell me that they're trash. I go, huh? What do Western women smell like? Trash. How do they act like? Trash. What kind of kids Mm -hmm. do they raise? Trash. What do they feed their kids? Trash. How is their obesity rates? Trash. How is their healthcare? (laughs) Trash. I could go on and fucking on. They are trash. Mm -hmm. And yet they're out here. I was, I wish I didn't get zinked by Tyrone. Now I'm leaking on my way home. I want traditional dating back. Oh, the audacity Dude, it of bitches. Of, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a quote. It's like the de- definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result. These chicks will get smashed and dashed. Like, it's like the same old plankton. He's trying to steal the Krabby Patty, and you know he's going to fail every time, but he's always surprised when he does. That's like these chicks getting smashed and dashed. Like, they're always going after Chad and Tyrone, and then they, they're they gone, and they're just like, oh, shock Pikachu face every time. It's just so stupid. Slapped my pussy up and left? How dare they? Let's continue. He says, what I want to say is, our whole generation grew up in the time when this whole smartphone craziness wasn't around, and suddenly it became something mandatory and unavoidable. If you are a woman between the age of 20, or if you're a woman and you haven't found your long-term mate between the age of 18 to 21, you have no fucking right to talk about traditional dating and marriage. If you wanted traditional dating, you would have asked your father to find you a husband. But you don't want that. You want that. There's like a sweet spot basically between like, you know, once the pill came out. So chicks could take the pill, like, you know, and not get pregnant. And like, you know, uh, the current feminist era where like traditional dating was still around. Guys would be giga simps. There's a lot of old school things. But now mm-hmm. we look – dudes look around and go, women are the majority of college graduates. The majority of PhD graduates. They're the majority of medical school graduates. They're the majority of new hires. The majority of new home buyers. They're the majority mm-hmm. of all these things. They have all these programs helping them out. So the last thing I need to do is to help women out. I'm not doing that. I'll help a woman out who deserves it. And mm-hmm. I get to choose in my life which girl deserves it. And the red pill is telling a lot of men that guess what? The majority, 99% of, for a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes will actually never lay eyes on a virgin woman. 
I know. Once or 18. I say, I say like it's true. minus school, like once or 18, like past 18, that'll be pretty much like you're done. You'll, you'll never find a woman worth traditional marriage. So mm-hmm. don't give them their traditional marriage. Don't. I'm not telling you what to do, but hey, if they're going to hold you to standards um, from the 1950s, guess what? Hit me up in 16 years when your two-year-old um, bastard daughter grows up to 18 and she hasn't hoed out, me and her can talk. Mm-hmm. That's well, the dude, only use you are. That's a quality. You want the old school traditions for men. That's cool. Um, old school traditions for women. But no, no, no. They don't like that part because that part requires some amount of restraint and responsibility. So I have yet to see sexist, a right? title. I uh, yet to see an article on any of these TradCon websites. They kind of mm-hmm. dance around it. But I've never seen one of them outright saying, save your virginity for your marriage. Never. No, I've not, yeah. and these are the same websites that preach about being like, you know, traditional Christians that preach about how men should They're die not, in wars dude. for women and protect, yeah. but they, they, they have not even mentioned the, really the, the 99% of the requirements for traditional marriage. Dude, they put that crap in the good book for a reason. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure they mentioned it a couple of times. Yep. Um, yeah, that was, that was the thing. So yep. if they're going to act a Christian and when they're judging you, uh, well, you're going to have to act a Christian at the wedding altar. And when I say that, um, she's not standing in front of you, a virgin is. Makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, just we're, just we're just religious here. Now, if uh, it, walk into your nearest trad con kind of church, uh, find the author of this church or the author of this article, go to her church, go to the pastor and say, I believe as a man, it's my right to demand a virgin bride. Like, I'm not going to marry a woman who's not a virgin. And I guarantee you, 99.99% of pastors across America are going to be triggered simp bitches. Yeah. They're, they're going to, yep. there's suddenly the vice grip around their nuts that the that their wives have 24 seven, that their moms yep. have, that their grandmoms have, that all the women that go to the churches have. It's going to instantly just cut off the circulation of both of their testes. And they're going to think, if I don't get this guy to blue pill or simp soon, I'm going to lose a lot of Wyman's feelings and attentions. And that's bad. We, we mm-hmm. can't be, we can't hold Wyman responsible. Oh, hell no. Can't do that. Can't do that. Dude, you need like a red pill grandpa. That's the last hope. Like a classic World War II, take no crap red pill grandpa. To just lay some savage, dude. Lay some old school nuclear red pills down on these thoughts these days. Maybe. That would be so funny. We are dude. going to be the red pill grandpas in the future. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell stories of our, of our experiences in the great cuck wars, right? Because these yep. women are running around, dyeing their hair different colors, and getting their punichi smashed around. They don't Ugh. have any kids. Like, there's, like, these famous memes. This is, like, my grandmother, my great-grandmother with five kids, my grandmother with three, my mom with just me, and then me with my cat. Yeah, weak families infected by <laughs> feminism tend to die out. So, yep. um, hopefully, I don't mean die out violently. I mean, just die out as in they don't have kids. I pray every oh, day yeah. that they, feminism. They 100% will. I pray yep. every day that feminism. And the families that uphold the unholy religion of feminism have their genes wiped from the face of the earth via self cockage. Don't you want to be mm-hmm. child free? Don't you want to raise cats and take pictures of, uh, you know, uh, avocados, whatever? Cool, do that. Just <laughs> that make dude, sure you don't have any kids. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says, um, I believe in the power of human intuition and chemistry. I believe in love at first sight. <laughs> so, the power oh, of I'm human intuition you know the least um useful thing in a court case or the least useful thing in scientific evidence is a human eyewitness testimony yeah eyewitness oh, yeah, testimony 100%. is the worst kind of scientific evidence possible in fact it's just it's you know, wrong even, like 80 percent of the time oh yeah, yeah no i'm saying in science you don't even you, it's, you don't even present it you just get laughed at. i saw yeah, something yeah. happen okay well, can you show us mm-hmm. no well then it didn't happen Pretty much. That's, yeah. that's Dude, the rule. If only her intuition could tell her of the wall approaching in the next two or three years coming in hot. Oh, boy. If only her <laughs> intuition could have gotten her a loyal man who would have married her at a young age. But instead, she couldn't choose just one. So she had to, like, you know, try out five or seven. Dude, if it's you like a vacuum at the ice. Any woman, any woman who can't be satisfied with one man will never be satisfied with one man. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. 100% uh, chronic. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're a kid. You go up the chip behind the counter. You're like, ooh, could I have to give you a little, the little ass spoon? They're like, oh, could I try the Oreo? Sure. Oh, could I try the mint chocolate chip? Yeah, here you go. That's, that's these chicks nowadays with yeah. all these different flavor, Chad and Tyrone. They want to like, try ooh. every flavor of schlong out here. <laughs> They're standing there for an hour backing up the line like, I want to try one of those. I want to try one of those. And guess what? By the time they've tried every flavor in the ice cream shop, 
oh, sorry, six o'clock. Get out. The store is closed. Mm-hmm. You just hit 30. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you have no more time left. You have to go to the simp shop, and all their ice creams are made of a soy substitute. Ugh. Oh, dude, <laughs> I'm so Kirby's gross. American. He wants that. He wants that actual ice cream. It's like that almond zinc ice cream. cream. They want like that zinc ice cream. They want that chronic green zinc ice cream. That's what they really Dude, want. Dude, chronic here's, and ruby flavored the, ice creams. That'd the, be the, the next one. The the chronic <laughs> green zinc flavored ice cream is the best ice cream in the world. But you can't just, I mean, I'll give a lot of girls tastes, but any girl that takes a taste of any ice cream, she ain't getting a scoop. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Ruby's contains about half whiskey and it comes by the court. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well let's go let's let's, let's let's give this chick at least one more line because we've been going on pretty long video just roasting um, the expectations of females she says i want to accidentally fall in love when i'm least expecting it okay let me just let me just say this ruby i like to call this and i'm not sure people really I, I, let me let me coin this right now because this is this hasn't been coined before this is disney princess syndrome yep this is disney princess syndrome but all these Russian movies. women are obsessed with Disney and they all think they're princesses despite having the vaginas and lifestyles of horse. And they mm-hmm. want to fall in love when they least expect it. They want the dude to bring out a bunch of burns and start talking to them. Bitch, you high as shit. I'm not dealing with that anymore. Ribby, you got anything else to say here? Oh, man. I just had fun with the roast, man. These, these websites are always hilarious because they have like uh, what is it? A nine-minute read. Look at Ruby and Chronic look at picture, read like look, two lines. And look, just at, look at the picture of the, the the girl in the pink with the dude with the frizzy hair. Look at these dumbass couple that got pulling me dumbass pictures with a dumbass article. Look, this is fake. This is a fake picture. Okay, your relationship that you want is fake. It was put on TV. It's a product. They don't want a man. Mm-hmm. They want a product. They are consumers. Yep. That's all there is to them. It's been under consumers chronic, guys. and zinc. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. It's been under chronic, guys. And Ruby the Party Frog. Take it easy. Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, and I have some great news. The Chronicles comic book is finally in the works. Let us celebrate, my brothers. But we need to keep this momentum going. We need to fund the pilot comic book, and we are so close. We are so in range. So if you want to fund the Chronic chronicles comic book consider donating to paypal.me slash the chronic make sure you tell me in your description that you're donating for the comic book and i can send you some of these dope draw line arts like this what we got here ribby has been hitting the gyms my man's deltoids are as big as his damn waist but chronic wielding the sword of red pill is here to cut through the cocks now the pilot for this comic the first comic for the Chronicles is uh, the escape from the Google Gulag, where Ribby is going to help Chronic bust out of the censorious prison. Um, you know, slay some cucks, roast some feminists, all that good kind of stuff. So again, if you want to fund this comic book, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic. We got to keep our artists blazed, my boy.